بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو انادر ویڈیو آن مائکروسافٹ ایکسل آفٹر مائی لاسٹ ویڈیو آن پروجیکٹ پلانر ان ایکسل آئی گاڈ فی کویسچنس فرام ڈفرنٹ وزٹرز اور آڈینس دیٹ ہاؤ ٹو کسٹمائز دس پلانر سو ٹوڈے آئی ول ٹرائی ٹو کور اٹ So when you press uh, new in uh, Microsoft Excel, you can select planner and trackers and you can find this template. Just click this and it will ask to create. It's by default provided by Microsoft Corporation. So it is available in the Excel itself by default. Okay. <clears throat> Here there are few things I would uh, share with you how to change those things. There are different colors like these are mentioned over here. So these legends are there. So you can see over here. Okay. Another question. Let's say for example, we'll handle one one. One is let's say for example, if we have to enter or insert one column over here or maybe we want to add more rows over here. And then another query was, let's say for example, this customization or different uh, periods I would say uh, to be uh, shown over here let's say weeks or months or years or because it is I think maximum if it is I'm not wrong it is 60 up to 60 so you can call them 60 days or 60 weeks or whatever you know or if because normally you will not plan for the whole month as a whole so you might need dates or whatever okay <clears throat> few concepts I will give and then you can customize the way you want right okay uh, let's say for example uh, first I want to add one one column or multiple columns see here over here all right so for example I will copy these so it will copy entire formatting of these cells uh, cells or columns as well so from here I will paste up to from BP if you need more right so I'm just showing you how to do that so I will increase this numbering up to 68 let me add two more so it will be 70 right you can uh, increase the way you want okay since I copied so all the formatting or uh, you can say uh, formulas inside in a sense those are also copied right so not just blank I copied these columns right okay now if you no, sorry one more thing I missed uh, so here I need to make it increment so it is now 70 now if you come here the period highlighted period here it is saying 1 so if you see here by default it is up to 60 now, now we need to increase this as well otherwise we have to remove this um, data validation right ok let me go to data and here it is where it, uh, this one ok if you see here they put it like this sorry data validation See, like this they they added over up to 60 over here now one way is instead of adding it over here let me remove this uh, list itself right any value so now it was 60 let me put it uh, 65 yeah so if you see here there was a, 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 a colored column so that is moved to now 65 see here this is the purpose you can maybe highlight something so if you want again back to one you can just change so this uh, color came over here same way uh, what I will do I will go down and let's say for example I need more activities so I will copy and we'll paste over here right and then I will change the way I want over here right their names or titles whatever you can call it okay 
everything is ready right so let's say for example if i move it uh, one so things are working okay so now you can add more columns you can uh, add more rows or you can reduce or remove as well okay another point is let's say for example we have these numbers okay keep these as a numbers or periods or whatever you call them uh, here i will insert one blank row over here if you see here okay now uh, there can be let's say for example let me put it uh, today is uh, if i'm not at 12 november so i will put it 12 and no v november so now if if i will keep like this it will be you know uh, a very lengthy sheet so i will change the format over here okay let me first uh, put few dates uh, let me check if okay like this now it is up to you how you want to format that okay here i will uh, let me put up to 30, 70 let's go up to 70 okay all right so now values i can't see but uh, we have to change the format so what i will do i will change give the whole range right click format cells and now i will go to alignment right i can select this right i can select this uh, or this now it is up to you right let me uh, select like this just for the demo right okay here uh, do we need to maybe increase a little bit but this is not looking nice right so again let me change it and i will make the format alignment and let me put it like this uh, degrees 90 right okay like this uh, now i think uh, it is uh, enough in our range that's it so uh, let me reduce this as well as a standard okay now we got the dates right <clears throat> we are not changing these because this there are certain formulas or whatever so in the top row we are keeping like this periods the way we want or we if we sorry we, if we want gap we can give gap as well let me explain how the gap can be uh, what is the date let me start from sunday 8 so let's say for example here it is uh, this is 8 all right or maybe i can put it monday so monday will be 9 right okay 9 and when is the next monday it is on if it was 9 then 16 right so on the first two i will make these changes sorry what was that i forgot it 16 yeah sorry 16 this video will bit lengthy i am expecting because there are topics okay let's say for example now i have gap of one week so now i put it that gap two dates and now i will drag this right done so let's see if i will see here next is 23rd like this 30th so now there is a gap of week so now these are weeks and now it depends on your planners how you are going to plan uh, another can be um, maybe after i don't know you will not give a plan for the whole month let's say january february march i don't think so but uh, you will you might need dates so i just showed you a logic how you can create weekly uh, calendar sort of for your okay let me put some more formatting over here so let me let's let's say let's say we will do like this or we can bring it down okay minus 90 so minus 90 be like this or if you want uh, more uh, you can have um, lengthy sheets you can keep it uh, width wise it's up to you right so now i've shown you how you can add dates over here so now let's say for example i change the date from there so here i will change 4 so if you see here it is moved to 4 now i will make to 16 right so 16 see here i removed this data validation just for my uh, uh, easiness 
uh, you can put it like uh, the way it was in the data validation up to you right okay now next is how these uh, dates are colors are getting changed now here there are two things go to home just placing uh, in this cell where there are uh, colors so in this you will go to conditional formatting right in this conditional format formatting if you will see here uh, manage manage rules right here there are rules defined okay so now there is a there are formulas if you see here we will see where these formulas are defined but uh, if you see here uh, <coughs> sorry <coughs> Here they have mentioned different formulas and their colors. So let's say for example, if I want to change a color, uh, let me make uh, this percentage completion actual plan. Let me change some color over here. Maybe I can change uh, this period. Yeah, this period. Let me change this. Yeah. Okay, I just double clicked and uh, then I will change the color uh, fill let me say I'm just giving it green just for the uh, sample okay and click okay apply if you see here here colors are changed right so now it is green and if you see here if somewhere it is there then we have to change their green but I think this this uh, legend they haven't provided over there okay now let's say for example if you want to change some other percentage complete let's say for example this one so again the same way uh, percentage complete is this the first one right so you can click edit rule and then format and fill and let's say for example percentage complete I would make some different color like over here right just for the sake of this uh, presentation so now this color is changed so what I will do I will come here and let me change the same color sorry uh, where was that this one okay so I have changed the legends as well right okay now another possibility is let's say for example I want okay this activity is there but I need some description over here okay let me insert over here this is a test uh, description right just I'm just adding description description okay now if you see here let me try to change something that something affected over here due to adding this column I just wanted to show you okay two right it is plan start day two now if I make it one okay now if I'll make it 10 for example see that it is changed to next and if I make it uh, let's say 16 see it moved to 16 right so things are working right so if I will make it one if it is still doing at one that means this column addition had no impact on our formulas or conditional formatting right so if you see here let me go into detail a little bit so here you have some formulas right now I will uh, show you about these formulas if I will come here uh, where was that? okay here uh, names manager right here you have formulas so let's say for example if I will click actual and then I will click edit now it is showing me this formula right so you can further explore if you want it is up to you right uh, ideally you shouldn't change this but if your requirement is like that you can change that one period plan uh, period actual period in actual period selected value this was 116 this one see this one okay now if we edit this one what it says project planner 
i2 it is taken from here see this 16 right okay so this is how it is here there are formulas defined all these formulas which are used in conditional formatting right so if you come here this is under formulas and name managers name manager okay if you see here uh, conditional formatting and then manage rules here these are rules right so i will click edit rules so use a formula to determine which cells to format right then values where this formula is true so is equal to actual beyond so once this is true see here these are different um, rule types so in in these this one is selected use a formula to determine which cells to format right okay and this one is the formula which uh, we took from uh, are we defined there so <clears throat> then we need to define okay what kind of coloring scheme or you know uh, borders are filling or whatever you want so this is a pattern so that's why it is showing this pattern right so if you want to change pattern you can change pattern as well it is up to you okay mm, what else can be over here i think i had only this type of questions if i'm not wrong one was let's say for example how we can add more years now this is the way you can do whatever you want the only thing is uh, how much on the right side you want to go so it is up to you now right so now it is flexible even i can just select now here i haven't added year so if you want to add year you can add year as well <clears throat> another possibility is let's say for example uh, let me select i'm just giving some sort of clues or techniques <sighs> let's say uh, from here till january i want to do this one and i will say merge january 2020 right and then i will mark it or maybe color it or whatever you want or border it like that see here now or i want i can color as well I'll bit light right so or this can be year as well you can have such um, merging for the year so let's say for example if you have a year up to i'm just giving you some sort of range up to this you can merge this and you can put it here up to you so i think this way uh, i don't see if there is any other customization required in this i showed you the formulas i showed you the conditional formatting i showed you how to change the colors so see if we if we change the colors and it is showing perfectly okay now then uh, what else we added more rows activities so the only thing is you will have to change the activities so it was <coughs> excuse me let me see if we, it will add yeah it is adding <coughs> excuse me so, uh, up to 32 or if you want to add you can add but first you copy or uh, take one row i can copy like this because it will copy the formatting and everything okay done right okay this is how you can use project planner uh, template of microsoft excel provided by microsoft within excel and uh, you can customize now you can change these headings if you want to change um, if you want to remove or update any formula you can go to conditional formatting <coughs> conditional formatting and formula these two things are there right anything if still there is any question please write uh, under this video i will try to respond to that right thank you very much and please share your feedback allah hafiz